All right, in this video, I'm gonna show how the microvolume block works with uh, rotating and then using machine points on, as you see on my screen here, to place the part of the machine. So whenever you use your microvolume block, you wanna have the even numbers up and the two and the eight facing towards you. This is the start position right here. Let's say that I wanna make a toe kick base. I have here X axis, Y axis, Z. So if I want to do a toe kick base, I'm going to rotate on the X axis, which is any direction like this. Uh, how you determine which way is positive or negative is if you were, and the best way I can explain it is if you were looking down your finger, a clockwise rotation is positive, a counterclockwise is negative. So if I did a positive 90, that would be a positive 90 in the X, and then zero, for the Y, zero for the Z, and this is how your toe kick base works. For something like a left side, you can go positive 90, negative 90 in the Y, and negative 90 in the Z. And now we have a left side, but that may or may not have been too many turns. We could have just simply went zero, negative 90, zero, and we're done. Once you've learned how to rotate your part, we have our left side. I want to use four as my base point because I know it's on the left hand side, it's on the bottom, it's in the rear. So that's where you'd place your, your base point around in your product. Now, if you want to think about machine points, if you can see on my screen, I have laid out the microvolume fields. These are virtual fields. This may or may not match what you currently have. So if I want the machine point to be at the bottom, or at the top of my side, I'm going to choose five because it's on the inside and I'm going to take that five and I'm going to rotate it right up to the, the reference point I have on screen. And this is how it's going to look on the machine. This is now phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four for machine tokens. If it were a, if you want it on the mirrored, you can pick three and put it in this corner which would give you just the same results on the mirrored field. Something to keep in mind that you may not want to do is pick a number like seven, because when you're putting it up to your machine, your part is sitting like this now, and you generally want the longest part of your, your panel to be across the, the X plane of your machine. 